shock it all at once, you know, at one time, but really we just move around real slow with the boat and we're only real effective in that 20 foot radius as we're moving along. And once we start seeing, you know, 10 to 20% of fish ripe or spent, we'll back out and let them, 20% of what? That are ripe or already spawned, then we'll back out and let them, you know, do their thing. What's up everybody, it's Matt with The Real Shot. We are on the Wolf River here in the Shyocton area. We're with the guys from the DNR. We're gonna do some walleye shocking. They're brave enough to let me get out front and try to scoop some of these walleyes. So that's what we're doing now. We made one pass. We got, you know, roughly about 50 fish, some nice males and females in the, in the, the boxes, so you wanna say. So I'm gonna head up front here and we're gonna continue on, right? Yep. All right, let's do it. It's a workout. Tell us a little bit about what you thought about It's definitely a technique in order to net these walleyes. They come fast. A lot of times they're down deep in the weeds too, so not too bad for the first time. I think we got a good mess of fish though. Sweating down. That's a workout. It's a workout. Forearms. <laughs> Fourteen zero. Female, green, twenty three eight. So we're just starting to work up the fish that we just got done sampling. Uh, so one of the things we're doing with every fish we catch is we take the length and get the sex. So this is a 16.8 inch male. And then we also tag them. So these are the old foy tags here. Um, and typically we try to tag around 5,000 fish a year up on the Wolf River. So this tag has got our DNR address on it at the Oshkosh Center. And then it's also got a specific tag number for that fish. So we're hoping that as anglers catch these fish, they call it in and return that information to us um, where they caught it. And then we also get a tag certificate back to them telling them where we tagged the fish and where it's moved from. All right, 22-2. This is a green female. 
So one of the other things that we're doing is a reward tag study. So these are the standard yellow tags that we've always put out since the 90s. Uh, one thing we've been doing since 2016 is we've been putting out reward tags. So uh, we put out 200 each year and these are worth $100. So uh, if an angler catches a fish with a reward tag and turns it into us, then they get 100 bucks for turning that information in. Uh, Walleyes Tomorrow and Battle on Bagel are the ones that are funding the project. And the idea is to try to figure out, you know, based on what percent of tags we're getting back with the reward tags and the, the regular tags, to try to figure out what tag reporting rate is actually is. So uh, we're assuming that for $100, just about everyone is going to return that tag to us and get more accurate exploitation levels. The one thing I will say is they are also only valid for one year. So the tags we're putting in right now are valid till March 31st of 2020. Female, ripe, 23.2, reward tag, 7.91. You can give me some mail. Yep. Male, 15.3, reward tag, 7.92. Nineteen eight green. Female green. Twenty one six. You know, on average, after five, you're you're around twenty inches for females. Um, if it's a you know, if you got a shad hatch and things are growing good, you know, your your fish after two years are starting to hit you know past twelve inches in their second summer sometimes. So. The males that we're seeing right now, they're, you know, 15, 16, so those are that 2013 year oh, class. So, that's so six year old, so. yeah, so they're they're a little bit behind the females as far as growth goes. It depends. I mean, our exploitation rates from angling are higher on females than males. Really? So it's, it's adult females and immature females that have the higher exploitation rates, actually. Pretty much from here down to New London, there's spots all the way, all the way down to there. New London, uh, Chiocton is kind of the best area where a lot of those marshes are.